wrestling? Not well at all, Tracy. As you mentioned, uh, five people were injured. Two of those victims are children, and the most seriously injured child was brought here at a Scottish Rite this morning. A police chase ends in a three-car crash. Two of the victims still use child restraint seats. We heard the, the cop siren, then we heard the squealing of the tires. And Donnie Gaylor witnessed the crash at the intersection of Thornton and Maxim Roads in Douglas County last night. I seen the avalanche fly through there. Authorities say this red Chevy Aveo ran a red light while being chased by Austell police. The car then hit an avalanche, flipping it on its side and into yet a third vehicle. It's awful. I just can't tell you. Marthy Dews rushed to the scene because she knows the avalanche driver well. He came to me, he said, and then he just sit down and then uh, cried and everything like that. So, you know, he wasn't together. The avalanche's driver was treated and released. Police identify the Aveo's driver as 30-year-old Jeremiah Mathis of Atlanta. He carried a woman and two small children, all of whom were injured. It remains unclear if the driver of the third vehicle received any injuries. And later today, we hope to learn much more about Mathis, including what charges he now faces and why he was running from police. We're live outside of Scottish Rite. Jocelyn Connell, Better Mornings Atlanta.